Okay, so for this lesson, we're going to discuss engineering economics, comparison of alternatives. So majority of engineering economic analysis problems involve comparing of alternatives. Several methods are available for selecting the best option from two or more alternatives. We have uh, the following methods, the present word analysis, uh, and the equivalent annual cost analysis, the rate of return analysis, benefit cost analysis, and then the break-even point analysis. So in, in this case, we'll uh, focus on the present word analysis. Uh, equivalent annual cost analysis and then the break-even point analysis so each of these methods has its own be benefits and applications let's start with the break-even even, uh, point no? so the break-even point is an economic situation or condition where the revenue is equal to the cost So when the revenue, which can be a function of x, and the cost function, also a function of x, are equal, we can find the break-even point at the intersections, uh, intersection of these two functions. So algebraically, we set r of x equals c of x and solve for x. So x represents the quantity, the t uh, number of quantities, In calculus, if there are two points or more, we are only concerned with the first point, the point at which the break-even point is first achieved. Now, if the manufactured quantity is less than the break-even point, a loss is incurred. If the manufactured quantity is greater than the break-even point, a profit is achieved. Okay, so let's have an example. Determine the break-even point in terms of the number of units produced per month using the following data. So we have the selling price per unit, which is 600, let's say uh, 600 pesos per unit. And then the total monthly overhead expenses, which is 428,000. The labor cost is 115. Cost of materials is 76 and other variable costs is 2.32 so all these costs are in pesos per per unit so we find the revenue function so x denotes the number of units produced per month so the revenue will be the the price cost which is 600 per unit and then multiplied by the total number of units so that gives you the total revenue or the gross And then we find the cost function. The total monthly fixed cost is 428,000. The variable costs include 115 coming from the labor cost, maintenance, and other variable costs, which is 2.32. So this means that the cost function will be the sum of the fixed cost and then the variable cost. So that will be 428,000 plus 193.32x. Okay, so we graph, we can graph the two functions and then we find the point of in intersection which represents our break-even point. So the value of this intersection is the break-even point. So give, given that R of X is 600X and then the cost function is 428,000 uh, plus 132.32X. Now, at the break-even point, your R of X is equal to C of X. And then solving for X will give you 1,053. So, the break-even point will be 1,053 units. So, that is where the revenue is equal to the cost. Okay, now, we go to the present worth analysis. 
Now, this technique is very suitable for ranking the desirability of available alternatives. So it is applicable only for mutually exclusive investments having the same useful lives. The alternatives are capable of performing the same task. And the best alternative or investment is the one with the largest present worth analysis or present worth values. Okay, so let's have another example. An industrial firm uses uh, an economic analysis to determine which of these two machines to purchase. So each machine is capable of performing the same function and we assume that the rate of return is 8%. So um, for our data, we have the initial cost for both machines A and B, salvage value, the annual maintenance cost, and then uh, the estimated, estimated life, and then the annual revenue. Okay, so note that the rate of return of investment is the interest rate that will yield identical profits if all money is invested at the same rate. So, let's compute for the present worth of machine A. So, the profit will be, if you have, um, uh, 50,000 as the annual revenue, and then the expenses or uh, the cost will is uh, 10,000, so the difference will be the profit, 40,000 pesos. Okay, and then the present worth will be now since the initial cost is at the uh, present value or present time, so there is no interest rate for the first cost, so the present worth will be the first cost plus the present worth of of all the costs. Okay, so uh, present we get the present worth of this forty thousand. This is annual profit. Now there we have five years here, and then we use the um, the formula for the. Uh, annuity so the present word or the present of uh, the present of annuity is equal to uh, 1 minus 1 plus i raised to negative n Okay, divide by uh, A, or rather the interest rate, and then multiply by the annuity. So this is the interest rate also. Okay, so the annuity is 40,000, and then multiply by this uh, interest factor that will give you the present worth okay, of this annuity 40,000. And then um, we compute for the present worth of this salvage value. So take note that this is considered as a future value which uh, will occur at the end of the life, you know, five years. So 30,000, uh, if you recall in compounded formula, we have F is equal to P times 1 plus I. Uh, by the way, I here is the interest rate per year. And so when you solve for P, so the future value will be multiplied by, by 1 plus I raised to negative N. So we have 5 here and then the interest rate, uh, which is 8% or 0 0.08 in decimal form, and then the future value 30,000. And the present worth will be uh, 430,125. Now for the second machine or machine B, so we compute for the profit, so that will be 50,000 minus 15,000, so that gives you 20, or rather 40,000 minus 15,000, so that is 25,000. And then the present uh, or initial cost is 350,000, so no interest factor. And then the 
um, uh, 25,000, this is the annual, or rather 25,000, the annual profit, and then convert or multiply by the interest factor to convert this to or to compute for the present worth of this 25,000 annuity. And then uh, the present worth of the salvage value of 50,000, okay, which is 50,000 times 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to negative 5 and that gives you 483,847 so the present worth of B uh, is greater than the present worth of A and therefore uh, we select machine machine B so this is the, the better option or the, or the better alter alternative 